Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about PRP injections for disc herniations. Disc herniations can be quite disabling and painful. Often the things that lead up to a disc herniation are excessive loads to the disc, which then leads to wear and tear in the outer annulus, the outer layer of the disc, and as that tears, it allows for the disc material on the inside of the disc, the nucleus pulposus, to herniate out the back of the disc. We often see this combined with the injury to the lumbar ligaments, which then allows for additional stress on the intervertebral disc. The nucleus pulposus material is very irritating and it can irritate the nerves passing by or even in some cases it can compress on the nerve and cause nerve damage. Uh, this condition is significantly different than a simple disc bulge or disc protrusion which does not result in the herniation or expulsion of this disc material from the center of the disc. The first thing we have to do really is assess the severity of the disc herniation and nerve irritation. Uh, we want to see if this is actually uh, causing nerve damage. Typically if that's the case we'll see significant numbness in the leg and weakness. Often we can do electrodiagnostic testing to assess the severity of uh, injury to the nerves. If there is a significant amount of nerve damage, often we'll send the patient off to see neurosurgery to see if they need to go and decompress that nerve. So if there's no significant nerve damage, often we run people through conservative treatment, which includes rest, time, physical therapy, pain medications. Standard of care if, if those conservative treatment options fail includes an epidural steroid injection. We're seeing more and more harm associated with steroid injections, even as little as a single epidural steroid steroid injection can increase someone's risk for a vertebral compression fracture. I personally would like to avoid steroid injections myself, if at all possible. We have been seeing more and more studies for PRP injections for disc herniations. We are seeing that the platelet-rich plasma has similar effects as the steroid, has less side effects, and can potentially last longer. We have also seen good results in our clinical practice with PRP epidurals. Often I'll use a leukocyte poor uh, PRP which has fewer white blood cells so it's a little bit less inflammatory for the nerve. When we do a PRP epidural I'll often treat the lumbar ligaments as well uh, as those are likely the predisposing issue that led to the disc wear and tear and herniation. And we see better outcomes as we treat more thoroughly that problem area. These procedures are always paired with physical therapy. We want to make sure the back is strong and we want to minimize uh, future injury or aggravation to that problem area. All right, until next time.